Frederick with J Concepts here at a very special place, Circleville, Ohio. Dan Patrick opening up his museum here, and we got bringing something to the RC community, a new Samson body. Yeah, it's awesome looking. You know, looks very detailed, like the real thing. Yeah, we did a lot of effort putting into this body. Uh, the type of mold that we use, we got a lot more detail in the mm -hmm. arms as See we've that. seen in the mm -hmm. past. Uh, full wrap now we're working for to do uh, be the first in the industry to actually offer the wraps as a part of a body package deal. Uh, package deal. Yeah. So uh, what do you think? Well, do you do it in a big form? In a big <laughs> form? Yeah, <laughs> we might have to do that yeah. for you, right? Because that looks better than my truck. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so look, uh, coming soon, Samson, the RC Monster Truck Body from J Concepts, Dan Patrick's here. getting ready to release the new mm -hmm. Samson body working with you. Tell us about the iconic arms for Samson. That's well, yeah. kind of a big staple on the truck. You see, you know, the muscular uh, arms on the right. truck. It's well, you know, that came to when I was at Bigfoot, you know, we were part of doing the, the snake bite thing because Gene Patterson and Andy Brass and I are close friends and we're there. And, you know, it was like, you know, we had a promoter out of California wanted a good guy bag to bad guy deal yeah. okay and, and so that's kind of where that concept come from and the 3d thing wasn't well received early because they thought we were going to be carnival you know carny yeah. kind of a thing and and so but people embraced it because it was a competitive truck yeah and, and people remembered it mm -hmm. and all that so the arm thing came with me uh through a program with american gladiators and they okay. wanted a truck that represented their show and we thought well the arm thing is good and with the people i was involved at the time you know they kind of because it wasn't my original idea it was given to me to make work okay okay and so because you know back then we're all looking for work for our trucks and because there wasn't that many promoters mm -hmm. there wasn't that many shows and you had a lot of money invested in it for the time mm -hmm. so you, you're trying how do i generate work yeah how to stand out above what the rest. what's yes what does what is the crowd when they go home what are they going to talk about mm -hmm. okay and so <clears throat> so we did the thing with mary gladiators with the arms and <clears throat> so in the autograph session we would ask people or i was what truck did you like and i said did you like the samson truck no we like the truck with the arms <laughs> they didn't remember the Samson name, but they remembered the, the division of the yeah. truck. And at first, <clears throat> we didn't have the name on there, but later it came on when I got into the Penda series, and I was financing that myself. I said, my name's going on the truck if I'm financing it. Yeah. So, and so now it's they're synonymous with each other. Samson is the truck with the arms, the upper arm of the truck yeah. is the Samson truck. Built the brand. So, you know, but that's took 30 years. But I mean... I mean, we pretty much had that down in about the fourth or fifth year. Wow. You know, so, you know, we considered ourselves back in the day, you know, one of the top runners. Oh, yeah. You were always up at the top of the pack or if not the leader of the pack. Well, we, we tried, you know, my background in pulling because when I come into monster trucks, monster trucks, you know, my, the, the truck I bought from Don had a little 461 with it. Four, six, I'm sorry, a 461 Chevy motor with a 671 blower on a street blower on gasoline. The thing couldn't have made 600 horsepower. Wow. Okay. My pullers at that time were developing 2200 horsepower. Okay. Big difference. But there was no way that 2200 horsepower was going to work in this truck because you would just be like uh, letting the air out of a balloon, you know? Okay. <laughs> you don't know where you're going to go. So, so. So all that kind of had to come through together through the technology of the suspension and all that, you know, to where we are today. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, that was the, the thing back then. It was, it was, 
it was leaps and bounds every year because the technology was fresh. Right. You know, now, you know, we're like everybody else. We're just inching it. Okay. Okay, as we go forward. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like you had big blocks of staples of changes yes. in the earlier days, and now it's kind of smaller improvements along. And you can have something, you know, a time because there was a guy who built a truck here that we were involved in. Um, back then when he was done, his truck wasn't even competitive when it was done. Interesting. Because it had changed that much through his process of building it. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm.